just before this video starts, I just want to let everyone know that I have released my own public Discord. And this Discord essentially is a hub for my YouTube channel, but as well as a canon community sort of thing. So if you're interested in joining something like that, link for that will be in the description below. So you guys, as you see on screen right now, will get access to the best canon tools and stuff like that. So I highly recommend joining and links in the description below. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Goodbye. Good evening everyone, I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm going to be releasing this concept canon, I guess, that I used back in 2016. So, this was a very legendary canon because, as far as I'm aware, this was the first canon to one-shot fusion regen bust and slab bust. So I think one other person did it, but it couldn't slab bust because it was using water entities to stack. And this is also the first, was the first cannon to um, region bust at 256 straight shooting. But I'm pretty sure one other person did it before me. But I'm pretty sure it required two shots and it couldn't do any one shot. So this could do any one shot. Um, and the other benefit that no one knows until now was that it only required one sand comp. You didn't need two sand comps. So even now, this cannon is, is advantageous over every other one shot region buster because it only uses one sand comp. So, yeah. Now, before I get into the video, the actual concept I've actually lost. <laughs> so, I made one cannon, and this is the cannon in the video, and I actually lost the cannon, and long story short, I lost the cannon, and um, it's been four years now, and I've forgotten how the concept worked. Um, well, I've got a pretty good idea. But I've forgotten everything with order of entities somewhat and the TNT ratios and stuff like that. So I'm going to tell you how I remember it working and then obviously you guys can go out and try and make it. But um, yeah. So in this video, it, it's basically just a 256 velocity fusion OOE one shot regen buster. Now some people said that I could only regen bust at 256 was well, because I used a boat guider. And this isn't the case. I only used a boat guider to show that it could full stack at 256 um, with a roof patch on. And yeah. So technically, even if you used a boat guider, it could actually region bust at 257. So if you use a normal 255 guider, it will still region bust at 256. It will just stack at 255 instead. Now that that's out of the way, I'll tell you guys how it works. So. The power is using a velocity fusion. I'm not going to explain how it works, but there's a video down in the description below. So it's using a velocity fusion, and with the order of entities, so this is from memory, so I could be wrong with this. Well, before I get into the order of entities, the, re that, the idea of the sand comp is that I'm having my normal full stack sand in the sand comp as well as my restack sand in the sand comp. So I have, say, eight layers, which is the full stack sand, and then I might have nine or ten layers for the restack. So like two extra layers for restack. Um, I say two or one because I'm not sure from memory how much I used. So yeah. Now, so how the order of entities works is, from memory, a lot of your sand got um, rendered, rendered after the power and before the hammer. Then your hammer went off and then the rest of the sand rendered and then your second hammer went off. And um, there might have been another layer of sand that comes after the second hammer. I'm not too sure from memory. But essentially, what I did was, using that, I also used some TNT ratios with the hammer and second hammer. And because I was using velocity fusion in, it created a funny ratio with the sand and hammer. So it created a bit of a recoil effect, I think. And that's how it stacked very high, I guess, from memory. Um, so that's pretty much how the concept works. Now, if you're, you're asking, does this have any value today? Of course it does, because, well, I want to be releasing it if it didn't, but um, as I said before, this cannon only requires one sand comp, so you don't need two. So that's why this should be used over every other one shot regen buster. But the problem is, it's using a velocity fusion, which is pretty inefficient. So if you guys can remake this, I would, but I don't really have time at the moment. But if you guys can remake this into a parallel fusion, then or a cubic fusion or whatever, then this cannon will basically make every other one shot regen buster obsolete because why would you use one that has two sand comps over one that only has one so yeah and a region buster 256 of course so yeah 
So that's pretty much how the concept works. Um, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them because remember, I'm going off the top of my head with memory here of how it works. So I could have been wrong with some of the stuff with the order of entities and whatnot. But um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just of course, let me know. And um, yeah, have a nice day.